Okay, hi everybody, and today we're going to do a uh, string pull with the heart and some uh, fluorescent green and some uh, bright red here for this for the for some uh, flowers. So this is the amount of string I want. This is the paint I'm going to use. I want to make sure my paint is well mixed and the uh, consistency is not too thin. So this is good. I like it. It barely creates a mound, right? It just falls, barely creates a mound. So it's it's liquid, but not too liquid, and it's not too thick. This uh, string pole on a dry canvas. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this here wool thread from this here uh, bobbin. Right, this is what I used. I'll put it in the cup and the paint, like so. Put in the paint and really let the paint absorb the string. That's algorithm having fun with his own string. The algorithm. Mm hmm. Okay, very good. Let's put this aside. And take the string out, like so. And take the string and then place it in the middle and try to shape my heart. With the string. Okay, good, let's add a little bit more paint over here, in this part, hmm. okay, very good, I'm going to grab the string, and pull it out. Pulling it out to create like a feather type effect for my green heart. There we are. Nice. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to do it again just to put an accent on the color. Bit more, uh, a bit more color because the background is uh, very dark, very dark background. I'm gonna take the excess paint off my string this time. I'm just gonna place it again where I first placed the string initially. There we go. Like so. There we are. I'm going to pick up the string again and pull it out and see how that uh, just puts a bit more paint on top of the first layer so it's a bit more visible. Here we go. Here we go. This could probably, the bottom could probably be better done, but I have a plan for that. Okay, to the other side. I don't really want your string to entangle itself either. There we go. And as you pull your string out of the cup, you could just let it sit on the rim and take the excess paint off by slowly pulling the string out. There we are. Pulling the string out. On the rim of the cup, taking the excess off. Okay. 
like so. There we are. I do the same on the other side. Go over here and form the shape of my heart. string and pull it out again creating this feather like effect there we go and because it's a dry canvas I could just put the string right back in the paint without really worrying at all about any uh, contamination of different colors So I'm going to do that again. There we are. Pull the string, take the excess off, let the excess fall off. Up. Like so. And bring it back. Following the line I started with. Like so. I'm just going to add some paint on the side so there's more of it to pull. That's what I'm thinking. That's my thought. Good. Picking this end up and pulling it away from the heart. And see how adding a bit of paint there on the side just uh, makes a bit more paint for it to pull. There we go to define the color yet a little more. Okay, here it is. Very good. Very good. I'm going to do the other side again. We are dip, pull out, then let the excess drip. There we go. Very good. Like so. And because there's always a bit less paint at the end here, because as I uh, pull the string down, so does the paint fall down the string. And so over here, there's a bit less paint on the string. So I'm just going to add a bit more as I did previously. I can see some cells developing here, funny enough, probably from the flow trial. Okay, very nice. Just a bit more paint, like so. Okay, now I'm going to pull again away. From the heart, but not so much as to touch the sides. There we go. There we are. Now that bottom is fixed. Excellent. Hmm. And that's the green. There we go. Now I'm going to do the red. Let me just uh, get rid of this green here. 
grab, shake it. You want to shake your paints if you can, if they're not pre-prepped or anything like that, but as well, give it a little shake. There you go. That is a beautiful red. Hi, algorithm. Algorithm, that's my cat. You guys want to see the cat? Algorithm. Algorithm. You saying the hellos? No. Come and say the hellos. Hello, world. <laughs> Okay, mixing the red. Mixing it well. It's so no algorithm. You don't want to go on the thing. Okay. Okay, making sure that the consistency is right. Like so, very good. Very good. Now I'm going to take my string, mm -hmm. because this is a dry canvas, what I can do is I can uh, try to blotch up a little bit this extra paint in the middle. Try to define a little bit where it sits on the canvas, like so. go and maybe just wipe that off here you go nobody saw nothing okay super so now i got this beautiful red is it well mixed it's well mixed like this yes it falls into not a mound not a well it just falls flat so it's a good consistency and ready for the string so I go with the string, and I want to do a heart, a few, uh, a few flowers in the middle of the heart, like so. That's about the length I would like. There it is. Cut. Fed. So, and you dip it in the paint. Make sure you got the good uh, paint dipping view over here. Okay. And we're dipping the string in the paint. Again, it's nice to uh, put it uh, in the paint in circles. So like that, it doesn't uh, create a bundle, as it were. Here, see here. Okay, everybody going inside. There we are. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you want to let your paint absorb the thread. Very good. Okay. Make sure you got uh, a good angle here. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna check. Ah, that's a good angle. Okay. So maybe you pull the string on the side of the cup slowly and let the excess run off of the string. Maybe you go like this. A bit along the rim, like so. And you hold your cup, because who needs the cup to fall out over, yes? No. Like so. There we go. Very good. This side. And start a flower.
like so. Hmm? And this first uh, pole will, I suppose, define a little bit the shape of the flower, although if I put enough paint on it, it could be just uh, one pole. Hmm. Well, could leave that for now. As Bid Murray would say, it doesn't matter, right? Is that good? Bid Murray uh, advised Bill Murray, it doesn't matter. This, that, the other thing, it does not matter. It doesn't matter, you guys. As long as you do your best, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's try this. Oh yeah. So as I pull, it's going to pull the, the red on my finger. So maybe I could hold it a little further from the painting, like so. Risque. Mm-hmm. Perhaps it's okay to go through the green? Perhaps it is okay to go through the green. But just as a string though. So maybe not just yet. Eh? Boom! That's nice! It looks okay, it's good, it's nice, I like it, you know, maybe, uh, maybe there could be more paint, maybe this, uh, this could uh, dip a little longer, there seems to be plenty of paint though, if you ask me, but uh, I could see through it, and I'm not really liking the canvas painting behind. So I'm just going to re-dip this, re-dipping for a second pull over it. There we go. Like so. And again, you let the excess drip off of the stick and the side of the cup. Then go back. Up. 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 I'm confused now. So, okay, so now I'll just, uh, now that I dipped it in the green, I'm just going to pull that last bit off of the string and then re-dip it in its cup. There we go. Here we go. And then I'm going to do some flowers on the other side here.
Okay. I don't want to do too much. Let's just be reasonable over here a little bit. Like so. Here we go. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's see what this does. Yeah, I don't know, guys. <clears throat> I got a feeling I could do better. So, I'm just going to take the extra green off of the bottom of the string, dip it back in the red, like so. soak for a minute for a second minute and a half and I'm thinking here maybe I should use some straight up white is what I'm thinking you know guys think? Hmm? Put some white in there. Uh -huh. So, I'm just going to fix that with my stick over here like that. There you go. Or maybe just another string full of green would uh, would do it justice. I'm just maybe gonna do another string full of green here. This hmm. and then I pull. There we go. Huh. We get that nice little interesting cell effect on the side side over here. Mm hmm. Interesting. So if I were to do white on my red, I would probably get some nice cell effects as well. So maybe we're going to try that. Green. Mm-hmm. 
F encore Okay, let's do the string pull. Plus the green. There we are. Very good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a white, guys. I'm going to do a white. Okay, so I'm going to take I need another car. Like so. <coughs> Let's do this. over here not too much of it well, here we go stick and a bit of weight Mixing well your colors is a paramount. Well, this is a very thick paint, the Van Gogh white is very thick. So when mixing with your fruit trawl, you can't see nothing, but you gotta just mix it well. So it's reasonably reasonable to think that you you did a good job but uh, better mix it well because with the flow trawl you can't see nothing so just squish and against uh, the cup you're using use your tongue depressor and really get that paint mixed in well and if you look on your stick it's mixed well. Huh? Very good. So, let's see here. The consistency is good. It's not too thick. I'm thinking I'm going to use just a little bit more of this flow trawl. And then just a little bit more weight. Because I'm going to have two cups. Here we are. Just a little bit more of that white. There we go. 
go. I'm going to make two cups of white because I'm going to pull the white through the green and the red. After I do a few white flowers on the side here. I guarantee you the white I just added needs a brand new mixing time to mix it all with the one I just mixed. <laughs> okay, so have any impact at all. Okay, that's nice deep white. I just wanted to do a few flowers here on the side. And then I will mix, uh, I will pull the white through the green and the red, possibly making beautiful cells. I want to fill this area up, area up over here. Okay. So first the length of string. This should do nicely. And as I said, I'm just going to start with a few flowers here. So not going to take me much string at all, like this much. Here we go. Soak well, and when you pull the first time, I'm just gonna put it set it here. You uh, you pull on your cup and you hold the cup. You could do the the stick thing and the cup, the cup stick. There we go. Let's make a little beautiful little flower. like this, doesn't it? Yes. There we go. It's just going to be the first esquias of a flower here. Beautiful, gorgeous, I love it. Of course there's not enough paint, so I'm just going to do it. Good. interesting. I'm just going to put my white back here. I'm going to correct this by hand. There we go. Try this on the other side.
Me, I don't like this type. So we'll take it off. Taking it off. Yes, okay, now I'll pull this one. Very nice. It looks a little ethereal, you know. Okay, so now mm. I'm going to do one more. Okay, now what? Well, now I'm going to put the white over the green. That's what. Okay, let's do this. It's thick, so I gotta go fast. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. I think I got something here. Again. Like so. And go. Yeesh. Like so. Okay. That's working out. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So now, let us do the same with the, with the, the red, right, let us do the same with the red, dipping in the white, I 
use a bit of this color here to fill this in. just to fill it in. Same with here. Take the weight string. Pull it through the weight. Okay. Hmm. Bien. and just pull this guy like so oh, it's making beautiful effect ok that worked out that worked out. Very good. Very good. Let's do it again. In the white. Like so. this like so And pull.
Okay, nice. There you go. That's nice. Now you know what else is nice? Red on white. Red on white is nice. I got red over here. I'll put my dirty string uh, just like this. I got the clean string and the red. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just gonna go. Oh, I'll make sure the tip here is well imbibed. There we go. I'm just gonna go over these flowers with my red. Like this. Over and around. So. And around. Like this. And down. Okay, this is very nice. It's going to pull now. Yeah, it's a nice effect. Let's see if I can do the same string pull here. Down on the white, and around. Let's go like this. And around. Probably went like this. Yes. And there we go. Mm -hmm. There it is. Hmm. Okay. And let's just pull this little guy. Like this. Very good. I'll slip it back in the red. I'm just going to do the same thing over this here flower. Okay, mm -hmm. okay the video is almost over guys. Because the battery is going to die. There you go. Once the battery dies, it's going to publish the video. And I'll come back to show you once I felt my battery. What this ended up looking like. Go. And, uh, no, that's nice. But I'm going to put this red back in its, its red. There we go. Put some paint all up in there. Very good. I'm going to take my dirty white. I can put it over here. This is my dirty white. There it is. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to, you know, squish it clean type of thing. Here we go. And uh, I don't have much weight left. I thought I had more weight left, so I'm just going to put that down. Mm. 
to make a bit more white. Don't need all that much. I'm gonna make a little bit more on this thing. This is not a little bit more. Oh, let's just use this guy. Oh, <laughs> let's just have a little bit more. Just a little bit. Action over here and mixing. I'm going to do another I'm just going to do a straight up red flower here just another small guy like so Oh, interesting pattern. Okay. That's the red. I'll pull my old white string over here. It's not, not, not. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. And I'm going to put that in the white over here. And you want to exercise a bit of patience. This uh, art deal business is about uh, relaxing. And so you want to relax. And relaxing. Okay. There's a bit of a white string over here. And it's going to go over my red. this and around and down killing you later and pulling Yeah, it's better. I'll put it back in the white, straight up. Let's do this. Like 
this. Dab over here, okay, and pull. Okay, very good. I'm just gonna put it right back in the white. Come over here. This weird contraption. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, boink, boink, like this, and around, what was I thinking, okay, who knows, and pull. Okay, and the last one, you guys are probably gone by now, just, just as well because the whole thing's pretty embarrassing, I wonder what it's going to look like. Okay, and so we're going to go around, this guy around and up, and around and down, and around, and down, okay, let's see what we get with this guy, and pull. Right. So me, uh, what am I thinking over here? I'm thinking it's a pretty shitty painting, if you ask me. Uh, How can I make it better? Hey guys, how can I make this painting better? Can you tell me how I can make this painting better? Please share in the comments below how you think, what I can do to make this look better. I mean, I like the effects here. I like it. But it's just the overall, like, I don't really like this guy, and I don't really like this guy. Yeah. But I like this, and I like that. This little extra blob of green doesn't look too good, you know? I don't know. So, there you go, guys. If you have, like, a suggestion for me to turn this into a... Uh, a nicer piece besides pouring resin on it which I'm not gonna do it's like a total waste man anyway thanks for being here and uh, have a good day I feel relaxed <laughs> take it easy guys it's raining here it's raining like the Dickens well, I'll show you. you guys are probably not here but I don't know well if you were if you were gone, I guess the phone would be dead. See how rainy?